In this video, I'm going to tell you about my top five Canberra wedding venues, which ones would suit you, and some other tips and tricks for couples to find the perfect Canberra wedding venue. I'm going to go over which venues I think would suit which type of couples, and also which ones I recommend for those couples who like classy affairs, more rustic stuff, or something a little bit more colourful as well. Let me know in the comment section below if you're getting married in Canberra and also stick around for the end of the video because I've got a little tip which is going to help you find your perfect Canberra wedding venue a lot easier. So my name is James, I'm actually an Australian elopement and wedding photographer, I'm actually based here in Canberra in Australia. Uh, every day I'm helping couples plan weddings, go location, scouting and everything. So basically I've done this a lot and I kind of know which venues would suit which couples here. So if you want to learn which Canberra wedding venue might suit you best, stick around. And if you think you're going to like this video, hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with future videos I'm doing. So why should you have a wedding in Canberra? It's a really great mix of kind of really rural areas, but also there's kind of classy boutique hotels. So you've got places like New Acton in central Canberra, which has the Nishi building, all these other really, really cool places. But equally, all around the outskirts, you've got these really dope venues like Gold Creek Station, Poacher's Pantry, all these other really, really cool places. So it gives you a really good variety of where you want to go. Canberra is also, besides what a lot of people in Australia kind of think, it's actually a really cool place. I moved here at the end of 2014 from the UK and I was really impressed by how fun and vibrant it is and it's only gotten bigger and better from there. You've got really good breweries here, so if you've got a few days in between you can always go around here and really enjoy the sights and sounds of it as well. So, when is the best time to have a wedding in Canberra? Now, typically the wedding season runs from about September through to about May, but typically there's a little bit of a break in December and January. Now, that's because you don't want your guests to cook. Typically, it gets really, really hot here in Australia and it can reach up to temperatures of about 42 degrees, which is like really, really, really sweltering hot. Uh, I'm pretty sure you and your guests don't want to be under the midday sun where you're getting cooked. It's really, really not a fun experience, and that's why there's that little break there. However, another time you guys can actually have your wedding in Canberra is in winter, and winter weddings are becoming a really big thing, typically as well because people like the idea of having something a little bit different, but also the fact that it can be a little bit cheaper sometimes as well. You can actually find uh, slightly cheaper venues as well around, around winter. So, I'm going to go through my top five uh, Canberra wedding venues now with you guys. The first one is Gold Creek Station Homestead. It's based in the north of Canberra, so just outside of Hall. The first thing you'll notice about it is it's this huge, huge homestead. So Gold Creek Station has got a really rustic vibe. So you'll notice when you go there, there's this huge house, huge homestead, really cool, and dotted all around it. You've got sheep shearing sheds, you've got this huge chapel as well. It's really great if you like that farmhouse rustic vibe setting. And another great thing about it as well is that you also have everything all in one. So you don't need to go to separate places, um, you know, for like the reception, for the ceremony, for couples photos. It's all in one, which is really, really helpful. So the reason I love it basically is because I think it's just a really fun little area. I always say that when you've got it all in one place, it'll help reduce so much stress on your wedding day as well. So you won't be going from point A to point B. It's all in one, it's all wrapped up. The thing I love about Gold Creek Station as well is it has these beautiful stained glass windows. When you actually go in the front door and see it, it's incredible. And as a photographer, there's so much light and the way you can play with it, it's just beautiful. It's a really good way uh, to have these really kind of cinematic beautiful images as well. So the next venue I want to talk about is Ginnaderry Events and Homestead. Ginnaderry Homestead is actually based to the west of Canberra, just outside of Belconnen. Basically this yet again another all-in-one place. It's like when you open up one of those country magazines and you just see this whole estate and they're like this English country garden and stuff, this is it. This is Canberra's answer to that. And it's really well suited to couples who like that really kind of country farm vibe as well. It also provides a space for you guys to have an all-in-one kind of retreat as well. So typically what will happen is couples actually rent out the whole place for the whole weekend and they can use it throughout the whole time as well. So you can get there on the Friday night, have a bit of a party with people, Saturday have the ceremony as well, Sunday wind down and then head off as well. The reason I really like Ginnaderry Events and Homestead is because of the variation it has there and also these really awesome kind of country-esque 
style of rooms it has in the actual main homestead. When you go in there, it's got so many cool decorations. It's got this like old phone on the side of the wall. Um, all the bedrooms have this really unique feel as well. It's got a beautiful little creek down at the bottom, which is great for couples photos. It has this beautiful English garden feel as well. And also this separate annex where you guys can have the reception. Around the back as well, when I went there, I also noticed this huge kind of beautiful tree, which provides this kind of natural arch. And I mean, if you guys love the idea of really using nature to your advantage, you're not going to find better than this. This is this is a really amazing place. The next venue I want to talk about is Toganong Homestead. Now, Toganong Homestead is based down south, and the great thing about it is it's actually a really kind of rustic, all-encompassing farmhouse kind of vibe, but right in the middle of the city. It's amazing when you look at it because the whole area is surrounded by city, but then you've got this Toganong Homestead right in the middle of it and, and it's amazing. If you're the kind of couple who likes that rustic feel as well and you like the idea of kind of going out into the country but you don't want to spend all that time getting out there, Toganong Homestead is absolutely perfect for you guys. It's also all in one area, so yet again, another venue where you don't have to go all over the place. You can literally turn up, get everything done there. You can have the ceremony there, reception, dancing, couples photos, the whole lot. It's peace of mind for you guys. It's really good for couples who like that kind of intimate country vibe. And the reason I love it is because it has yet again so many different areas. Jerry and Anne, who actually run the place, have done a really good job at making it look really nice. When you go in the, in the kind of main feeding barn, you've got this huge kind of cart above. It also has really good places for you guys to get couples photos. One thing I'm really passionate about is getting really amazing photos on your uh, wedding day as well of yourselves as you as a couple and stuff like that. And you've got the huge paddock out the back which even comes with its own horseman if I've been there as well. You've got these giant kind of barn structures as well you can get in and actually kind of lean out and also just all these little cool areas as well. There's loads of different areas to play with light as well. If you like that big vibe you're gonna love it. So I just want to ask as well is this making sense to you guys? Are you having a good time looking at this video? If this is all making sense and you're kind of getting something out of this comment below hell yes and uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think so far. So the next venue I want to talk about is Elm Grove. Now Elm Grove is located at the top of Canberra in the north and it's really good if you want to have something really different. This is unlike anything else I've actually seen in Canberra. So basically the whole area really lets you have a really cool festival setup. So the whole area, it's not like any of the other venues where you've got set structures, it's actually a whole kind of free plateau. So you can have along food trucks, you can have along tents. Uh, marquees, all these really cool things so you can really really make it your own. And it's perfect for couples who want that really festival vibe. So say for example you know loads of friends who can set up a marquee, come along, set it up, get some food trucks, you can make it your own. The thing I love about Elm Grove is it has this really beautiful ceremony location with this big tree over it. It has lots and lots of interesting and unique views and of course it gives you that total freedom to have it your way. If you're the kind of couple who want to throw a festival, let's say like fire festival with obviously without all of the big problems, this is your venue. This is a really cool place. Corin Forest Mountain Resort is another really cool place I want to rep about. It is absolutely amazing and it's definitely one of my favourite venues in all of Canberra. So this is actually based in Corin Forest, if you guys know it, it's where everybody goes skiing in the winter months as well. They've got like the little um, European style toboggan at the back as well. It's really, really cool. It's a really unique venue and it has this really beautiful forest kind of rustic feel as well with this nice pond, really cool wood cabin and even a big log fire in the middle. Corin Forest Mountain Resort it's perfect for couples who love that whole kind of camping in the forest vibe. So if you're the kind of couple who love to lay under the stars and have a really nice look up while being surrounded by vegetation and forest, this is your venue. The reason I really like it is because, to be honest, I spend so much of my time capturing people and couples in nature that it really speaks to me. Just be having this really cool venue absolutely surrounded by all of this beautiful Australian forest as well. It's unreal and especially cool if you do like that really cool camping vibe. I really enjoy having the slide at the back. When I actually went up there to do a star shoot, um, I went on it, it's a blast. Seriously, if you have any photos of yourselves going on this huge toboggan slide for your wedding day, think about how awesome that would be. It's really cool and it also the catering there is amazing. Now, I actually said I would give five venues, but I do want to rep the sixth here just because it's so cool, I can't help not talk about it. It's the Canberra National Arboretum. 
Now, if you've ever been to Canberra, chances are you've seen the Arboretum. It's this huge, beautiful, massive Arboretum west of Canberra's whole space. It's amazing. It's got these huge hills, these Himalayan pine forests, stunning, stunning place, and you don't get any better sunsets than there as well. Now, if you're the kind of couple who likes something a bit more classic and colorful, the Arboretum could be absolutely perfect for you. One of the main places they have the ceremonies is at the Margaret Whitman Pavilion. You go in there, it's this beautiful kind of shell-shaped architecture there. You go in there, amazing outlooks, really, really cool. If you're the kind of couple who love that kind of really good nature vibe as well, yeah, again, we're so lucky with it in Canberra, but if you really like that kind of polished nature vibe to it with these epic kind of green views all over Canberra, this is your venue. The thing I love about the Arboretum, to be honest, is that it's such a beautiful place. When you go up there, you've got these beautiful places for sunset views, you've got the Himalayan forest for having slightly different couples photos, even the cork forest as well to mix things up. In terms of nature, it provides so many unique places for you guys to have really cool couples photography and the views are unbeatable there. Now these six venues are actually part of a whole large set I have on my website. I've got a link down below, so go and have a look at that. I've listed all of the wedding venues in Canberra and also some more tips and tricks with that. However, there are three other venues I'd love to rent if you do like that more kind of classic urban style as well. The first one is the Hyatt Hotel in Canberra, which is the most central kind of hotel in Canberra. It's really cool, very, very glamorous, lots of really nice places in there. You've got beautiful courtyard, also lots of stairs to play around with in light as well. The second place is the Fittest Workshop. This is located on Kingston Foreshore. It's a huge barn, really cool. You can totally do it out however you want. A lot of event organizers in Canberra absolutely love working there because it's a totally blank space and you can do whatever you want to it as well. And the third place I'd love to wrap as well is Old Parliament House. Old Parliament House is really cool if you love that kind of urban feel and that little bit of historic feel as well. I've even known couples to actually go into kind of the main halls there so you can go where government usually congregates and stuff like that. I need to get better at knowing what these terms are for government congregating. But you can go in there and hold all these scepters and stuff like that. It's really cool. And also it has the gardens next to it as well. So you still have that little bit of greenery in the vibe as well. So just one more tip for you guys as well. If you're looking at the big list and thinking, I don't really know what would work for us. A good rule of thumb is basically, if you're looking for more of that rustic vibe, so say you like a lot of stuff with botanical flowers and stuff like that, homesteads are gonna be a better option. Something in a bit more, something in a bit more um, of nature, for example. Whereas if you like that more classic, glamorous style, you're gonna have stuff like the National Art Gallery, more central kind of hotels as well which suit that kind of more polished architectural feel. So those are my six favorite wedding venues in Canberra. As I say, I've got the full list on my website with loads and loads of more different venues as well. So click below and have a look at that if you want to get even more ideas. So I'm really curious to hear from you guys which one of those places you would love to get married at do you think? Comment below and let me know because I'd love to hear what you guys think and which one you're most attracted to. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below, get subscribed as well and share it with somebody who you think might be getting engaged or married in Canberra in case they want to get any more hints and tips about kind of the best wedding venue. And if you want to see more awesome images from myself, go and follow me at Instagram. I'm at who shot the photographer. Go and follow me there. I'm always posting daily. And feel free to reach out to me if you guys have any more questions. I'll see you till next time. Bye guys.